I, I, I guess the best way to describe it is I felt like a human yo-yo all week long. It all started last Friday night. Goose Creek dominated the Conway Tigers 48-7. It appeared as if the season was over for Chuck Jordan's team. But then on Tuesday, the South Carolina High School League disqualified the Gators after they self-reported an ineligible player. He has done nothing to help Goose Creek High School win a football game. But Goose Creek High School has given that young man something that he's never had. You know, we'd like to think that we've helped impact his life and make it better. I just wanted to try to help give them another ring. I fight, I fight so hard. We fight so hard. Uh, you can throw rocks at the high school league if you want to, but they represent us and we determine the Constitution and they have a responsibility to uphold that and I think they've done that. As a result, Conway got the pads and uniforms reissued and prepared to go to Bluffton in the second round of the 4A Division II playoffs. That Friday when we played Goose Creek, I mean, after about the third quarter, you know, everybody kind of hung their heads like knowing that we were gonna go home or whatever, and not be able to play the next week. So when we got the call that we're gonna be able to play, everybody came out here. I believe we had the greatest practice we've ever had this whole season. A Wednesday hearing in Columbia upheld the decision, but Goose Creek filed an injunction that was heard in a Berkeley County court on Friday morning. Heath Creek will get to play tonight, and then they will just have to live either on the field tonight for the rest of their season or await what the um, league's decision is next week. Conway waited to board the bus at 12 noon on Friday for a four hour road trip, but they never got on. The anticipation was great. I mean, Coach Jordan came in and was like, we're in and everybody went crazy. And he was like, you know, I'm just kidding. And the whole mood of the locker room just went like, oh, you know, cause obviously we weren't ready to be done playing. But the saga will not end there as another meeting will take place in Columbia by the South Carolina High School League Executive Committee. If they uphold their original decision, Goose Creek would have to forfeit the game and Bluffton would move on to the state semifinals. It's the right thing, they deserve it. And uh, now we have an opportunity to play and let things be decided on the field. That's all we've asked all along and uh, you know, I'm just appreciative uh, the judge made the right decision. That's frustrating, um, just not having a fair advantage to prepare. Um, don't mind playing them, but would like to have time to prepare because they've been preparing for us all week. But uh, for them to be uh, put in by a Berkeley County judge um, in order to have it tonight, not real, not real happy with uh, with that. The Tigers are not pursuing legal action. So much is still up in the air, but one thing is certain: Conway's season is over with a five and seven record. We were ready to play today. We were ready for the trip. But we knew that, uh, that things were up in the air and we knew that, that things could change in an instant. I think our kids have handled it extremely well.